are heading back to the boat and this morning we just finished cleaning her so we figured this is the most perfect opportunity to give you guys a walking tour of our new boat Bob! <laughs> Let's go baby! <laughs> All right, everyone. So we bought another Fontaine Pajot catamaran. This one is the 2015 Helia 44 Evolution model. Pretty much the exact same layout as our old Lapari, but a little bit bigger and a few more features. Now to really get the picture, let's just show you around. So here on this boat, we have two big storage areas up front, whereas on Evelias, there was only one. In there is the anchor locker, and that houses all of our lines and our buoys and the anchor and windlass, of course. In here is probably the biggest storage that we have on the boat. This is where the generator lives and all of our dive gear and even water maker. It's a really nice dry storage. Even if we're taking waves over the bow, this should stay dry. It houses our generator, like I said. This is mostly for doing laundry, really, is about the only thing we'll need to start it for. With uh, all the solar we have, we shouldn't need to, to use this very much at all. And we may even be able to run the washer machine off of the new inverter. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, water maker, dive equipment, generator. While we're on deck, I want to show you one of my favorite spots. Already, this is awesome, having this separation between the helm. But come up here and right, look at that. This is one of the best spots to enjoy creeping on our neighborly cruisers. 
and the sun sets and drinks. That being said, I think it's time to have a drink. Come on down to our new bev fridge and we will share, I guess it's not a passage beer, but let's have a drink and talk about the differences between Elias and Bob. All right, so I'll be honest with you. When we filmed all the stuff earlier, it was nine o'clock in the morning. So we didn't really crack a beer then, although I was tempted. <laughs> We're gonna crack it now, because it's about that time. Cheers. Cheers, babe. All right, so a lot of you guys have wanted to know really why we upgraded, why we got a different boat. Evelias, was she not great? What was she like, was she falling in pieces? No, none of that. Wholeheartedly, the opportunity just fell into our laps where a Helio was available for sale. We had a direct line and connection with the previous owners. Yeah and we just ran with it. Yeah, we did. We actually fell in love with this particular boat several years ago when we first boarded a friend's boat. They had a Helia. And honestly, guys, the Lapari, our old boat, was a great boat and it was perfect for us to learn on. Yeah. But it definitely was tight when we had guests aboard and we and have we... a lot of guests. <laughs> no, we've had a lot of visitors. Yeah, and we, 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 we've cherished that, actually. It's one of the greatest things yes. about being able to cruise and cruise on a cat. So we have loved having the extra space and size that this boat affords. And so we do a comparison. The other boat was a 41 and this is a 44. 40 or 41? Oh, I it guess was a 41. it was a Lapari 41. But, but technically it was 39 feet and this is 44. So we've gained four to five feet. It's a weird thing that they do, but they call that the 41 and this is the 44. Cheers on that. So, we made yeah, it. We, we made did. We did. We did. We <laughs> fell in love with this boat three years ago and we dreamt that someday we would own one and, yeah. and we made it happen. Yeah. So honestly, if this didn't happen, if we didn't get the Helia or Va when we had Evelias, we would be very happy with her. Absolutely. She was a great boat. Continue our travels. But the whole thing was the extra size. Yeah. And she's a little quicker. So aside from that, I have a question for you. Aside okay. from the obvious extra size, so we have the additional four feet of length and we have an additional two feet of width. A little over, yeah. What were you most excited about this boat? The storage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Me too. It's a weird thing to say, but man, she has storage everywhere and um, we can put away all our stuff in, in cabinets in and in lockers and, and everything just looks a lot neater and we're not having to, you know, make room for things here and right. there. Um, well, not, uh, on top of that, we've also found some extra cavity space. That yeah. To us, we were like, well, why didn't Fontaine, you know, utilize this? But that we, is a good question. Yeah. So Warren was able to, you know, drill a few things, crack a thing, thing or two open. Yep. And be like, oh, oh, what? This is a huge cavity. And, you know, we reclaimed a lot of storage space. And yeah. I was able to either, you know, hinge a piece of wood or actually put an access panel in here or there. Mm -hmm. And we got a, even more space. But I think that was probably, blue, you know, one of the biggest things is the extra space What and for guests, yeah. really. So quick recap, again, we have another Fontaine Pajot. We have a Helia, we, same as Evelias. We have an owner's version, which means it's three cabins. There's a diver. Sorry, that distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that in the water? Is that a whale? Is that a turtle? Shark? Is that a turtle? Um, oh, it's just a diver. Three cabins, and we have one master hull. Yeah. Um, the motor size is different. Yeah, we went from a 30 horsepower to 30 horsepower motors on the old one to these are 55. So it's quite a bit more power. It's almost double mm -hmm. um, on the power for just that extra four feet. Um, I'm gonna let you take the technical stuff. So there was already solar installed on this Yeah, boat. there was a little bit of solar. I actually removed all of those. They were they were quite small. The owner, the previous owner relied a lot on the generator. It's great to have that as a backup and we're gonna keep the generator in place and I'm sure we will use it occasionally. But I love the idea of living this type of lifestyle um, as carbon free as possible. possible. So I've completely redone all of the solar, added a ton of panels, and we have a whopping 1,400 uh, watts, 1,400 <laughs> watts of solar going into a 750 amp hour battery bank. So they're both quite sizable. Um, so those who don't understand that, that means 
basically what? How much power? What? What's our day look like? What can I use on the boat? You can use everything, actually. Um, we, do, we do have a washer machine on board. Oh yeah, so, that's an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge upgrade. We have, now we have three fridges. I added one, but we have a larger drawer fridge, the same exact freezer that we had on the old boat. And now I've added a small, what I call the dorm room <laughs> fridge, which we're calling the beverage fridge because that's what it's going to be. It's basically just for where all the beverages. Is. So we have three fridges. Those are going to be our biggest consumers of our power. power. Mm -hmm. um, everything else doesn't take that much. You know, we have fans and electric motors and all that, but that doesn't take that much. So we can run, we can run everything off of our battery bank and solar. We can run the, the blender. Blender, yeah, important for margaritas. washing machine oh my god I have a washing machine on the boat our water maker all of this can run off of our system the only thing we can't run actually is our air conditioning which we you know this is that's not a major right now we haven't needed it no we haven't even fired them up yeah so obviously we have a generator on board too um, in the front storage areas with the additional two feet of width Prior, we had just one storage locker, which is our anchor. What? I'm sorry, I'm looking at you, but this guy is naked on his boat and he doesn't. There's no, no we're not shame. talking about. I'm sorry. We're not just, talking about naked guys. He keeps grabbing my attention when I'm, I'm trying to look at you. I think I'm prettier than naked man. 100%. Okay, all right. But I can't help to laugh at this. Where was I? All right, so we have an anchor locker and we have a dry storage which Warren went over earlier. It's got the generator, generator it's bikes. got our dive tanks, our bikes, mm -hmm. we got folding bicycles. <gasps> Check it! My new whip! Boom, boom! <laughs> so, really excited about that. Um, what are some other upgrades? I what had else? some what notes because I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, large refrigerator. Oh, very cool thing that Warren did on the boat because he's such a handy Andy. Um, the coffee table that we had originally, we didn't take any footage of this. I don't know why. Well, I'll take it from here. Our old boat, as you know, had a full indoor dining table and that was great. And mm, we used it all true. the time, warm weather or cold, it didn't matter. And you know, then that's where we did a lot of our work from. And this boat comes with a little coffee table and it's great. It's actually perfect for the space and it had two little lids, table. but it's just a coffee table and it would be super nice for so many different situations. If the seas are rough and it's blustery and windy out and we have- You don't want to eat outside. We, no, you don't. We want to eat inside. And uh, I think especially we want to do the computer work inside on hot days or even cold days, who knows, but we want to do it inside. We want a space to do that. So- I don't want to be slouchy. No, yeah, exactly. Can't this, work like this. I don't want to sit like this. So we, you had the idea of turning this coffee table into, it's a coffee table to full table we conversion. We call it like a lazy, almost like a, like a, not a lazy Susan, but a lazy lounger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a coffee table to regular table conversion. And I researched on the internet how they're done and how they're sold. And I actually fabricated my own metal brackets. I welded them back home in Colorado over the summer and, in, and built this new table that lifts up and out and then opens up uh, so that we have a coffee table awesome. to kitchen table or dining yeah. table. It's awesome. I love it because yeah. we still maintain our storage yep. in it, but then it just converts. It's two out of one situation. So. And it takes literally, I could do the whole thing in 60 seconds. Yeah. Show them. <laughs> All right. Okay. What else? Impressive, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What else? Overall, if we had a do over, and it meant that we had to wait an additional couple of years. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? Absolutely not. Okay. We definitely are stoked that we learned on yeah, the boat we too. did. There was everything that we could handle at the moment. It gave us this perfect like launching off platform to where we are now. True. This would have been... There is a lot more. A lot, lot more. I mean, we would have definitely, I don't know. 
we I'm glad I think we, started we would have been able to figure it out, but I am yeah. very, very happy that we started out with the Lapari. Um, the size was perfect for us to learn on. Bite off what you can chew, and that's yeah. what we could handle at the, at the, at time. the time. Yeah. It was down tail, downwind. <laughs> 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 and that's what we should have learned on. It's the exact boat we should have yeah. started with. And so that being said, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you. Um, now that we've sailed Va for a little bit down here through the Baja, do you find it different sailing versus Evelia? Honestly, not that much. I mean, the thing is, is it's the exact same manufacturer, it's the exact same boat, lines are run the exact same way, um, winches are just primarily in the same place. Thicker? Yeah, yeah, she's just a, she is a little bit faster. Ultimately, I think and I know now I'm biased because I own this boat and I don't want to speak any ill will of the Lapari because we loved her. We oh do. God. She was our first but, boat. I had shed many tears. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, we had blood, sweat, and tears in that boat. <laughs> truly. This boat's a better boat. It it's just almost as if Fontaine took, gave more thought. They gave more thought. They did. I swear they gave more thought. They purposed areas better. It's only a year Newer. Newer. Than One year our, newer. We had a 2014 and Lupari and this is the 2015 they're, they're, Helio. They're almost identical. They came off the showroom about the same time, out of the factory about the same time. They just did things differently here. I think they just maybe, I don't know, it's as if they thought the Lapari was going to starter sailors and the Helio was going to experience. Or because charter. now that we know, yeah, maybe possibly, mm -hmm. now that we know things, there's all, the list could go on about the little things that they did here on this boat that they didn't do on the Lapari. Right. And it's not just the size. The size is important too, but it's all the little Size nooks matters, and crannies. baby. <laughs> does it? No. Okay, good. It's about the most so, of the ocean. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's all the little nuances that they, <laughs> and attention to detail that they gave this boat that the Lapari just, it's a great boat, it super just lacked, clean. It lacked a little bit of that. It did. The, the finishes, I think, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. For instance, the the uh, davits to lift the dinghy are oh, way God. heavy duty on this. On, on, that is also nice. Yeah, they're rock yeah. solid on this boat. Yeah, they could have a, handle a much bigger dinghy. Mm -hmm. And on the old boat, they it were actually completely makes it undersized. For me, physically, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, to hoist and to drop the dinghy mm -hmm. by myself, whereas before on Evelia basically had to and just said go ahead and drop the dinghy for me <laughs> no but it was actually a lot harder to do yeah uh, this is a lot easier to manage it's easy up easy down uh, a couple things that I did forget to mention that you added additionally to this boat and we'll get, obviously get into those in some other future videos. I added a lot Warren's added a lot he not only the solar uh, but he on our last boat I don't know if you remember but we in, Warren installed a rainwater collection system which is amazing. He did it again on this boat. And of course, when you do something once, you learn from it and you upgrade and you make it better. And this system is awesome. This system is awesome. We, <laughs> we love um, being independent and not having to rely on anything else. And one of the main things that we learned in the Caribbean is, and throughout the, the world, is how much it rains and being able to collect and filter that rainwater. Um, is super important yeah. and so I set up a rock solid system. But we're in the desert. We do have a water so it never maker. Rains. Yeah, exactly. It's not gonna <laughs> we can't even test it for months. <laughs> Most of the rain that hits this roof all goes into this gutter system, just like on the old boat, it goes into this gutter system and then it dumps out right by the mast. So that's where I collected before and I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing this time except it's just a little cleaner installation. I'm just gonna drill holes right here, and I'm gonna put in through holes just like this, right there, and then I'm gonna dam this off so all the water flows through these two through holes, and then right below us actually is where the water tanks sit. So it's ideal to set this all up right here in the chain locker and collect all of this water, run it through a filter, and put it right into our holding tanks. It's, it's great, actually. I love the sustainable living, you know, and not having to run um, a water maker, which we'd have, and is nice. But anytime that we don't have to run that, we can collect, you know, what naturally comes out of the sky is going to be beneficial for sure. So very cool. We'll see. I can take showers. Sun. You can a lot <laughs> every day when it rains. 
Every day when it rains and it's in the cold. Rain. Wah, no, that's all right. All right, what else do we need to cover? Well, honestly, if you have any questions about anything else about the Helio or even the Lopari, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. So please ask your questions. Um, yeah, send message us messages. Us. We'll get back to you yep. when we can. Uh, we what? definitely try. I don't know. I, we're so excited that we have Va. It's <laughs> so surreal. It's just stupid how excited we are about so this boat. so surreal. Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you still looking at Naked Man? No, no, I've tuned him out. <laughs> okay. He's still there though. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it as far as um, the upgrades and walkthrough for Va. Yeah, we hope you like her. We love her. We do love her. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Thank you guys. very much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And we definitely send us a message. We'll get back to you. Message. It's helpful to us and we like to get them. <laughs> we do. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Warren. We do. <laughs> I'm going to work. Can I go back to work now? He's so busy all the time. Bye.